Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing this week's new ColourPop collection and I'm really excited about this one because we have another Disney collab and this is a It's a Small World collection. This is so fun. So if you guys didn't know, It's a Small World is a ride at Disneyland and Disney World. I feel like it was an opening day ride at least for Disney World. Maybe I could be wrong but it's just kind of a classic ride there that all ages can do and it's just so cute and so fun. It's such a classic, so we are going to be putting this on. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this, so let's go ahead and get into the collection. So this is the little thing it came with, and it says, Embark on your journey around the world with all new whimsical shades and our iconic formulas inspired by your fave Fantasyland boat tour. This collection should be launching on ColourPop uh, probably today as I'm uploading, because I think I'm going to upload this Thursday morning at usually 10 a.m. PST is when their palettes go live. I will say this all also is coming to Ulta if you would rather shop there because I actually saw it in store yesterday. I don't know if it was supposed to be out on the floor, but you may get lucky and find it in your stores already because my store already had it out. I was like this close to buying it because I hadn't received it yet and I was like, should I do it? I was so close, but I'm glad I waited. Um, but this is just so cute. Like I totally would have bought everything with my own money because I love their Disney collabs so much. So first up we have here the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to turn my brightness down one notch so you could see it better, but the It's a Small World Pressed Powder Palette. Here is what it looks like. And then you open it up and the fun carton has all the different ways to say hello in all the different languages since that's a huge part of the ride. Basically it has a bunch of different countries in it um, and different ways you say hello in the languages. It's really cute. And then you have the palette here. Oh, I love the design is just so good. And then here is your color. So it actually has some different shapes in here. There's little diamonds and little circles with some different embossment on the colors, but very fun the colors in here. I feel like when I think of the It's a Small World right? I always think of like pastels, but I guess it does have like a lot of rainbow colors in it. So it does match with like the logo here. I actually think the color scheme is quite pretty and pretty wearable, also very colorful. I like this a lot. I went ahead and swatched everything out for you guys so you could see all the colors in person, but I love that you can kind of do some different color stories if you want to go for a teal look, a blue look, more purples or berries or neutrals. You kind of have it all in this palette. There is a glitter shade in here. This gold is one of their newer formulated glitters, which it's a little bit harder pressed. It's not as chunky as their older glitters. You can kind of blend it out and smooth it. So I, I think they're eye safe because I don't think they do the asterisk anymore. So yeah, I think their updated glitters are eye safe. And also they have one of their super shocks here, which is like their putty formula in a shadow palette form. And I think the rest might be normal metallics, if I remember correctly from swatching it. This palette is going to be $22. We also have three blushes in the collection. Here is what the carton looks like. It just says it's a small world. And then all of them say after all on them. And it has like the fantasy land kind of background. And then it has the name on the back. So this is Happiest Cruise. And it does have a little imprint there. So this is a fun kind of mauve blush. It's very soft and very blendable. Here is the color. The next one we have is called Round the World. And this is more of your bright pink. This one's a little bit more sheer, so I feel like it's one you kind of want to build up. But it is that baby doll bubblegum pink. And then we also have this more red tone. This is Dancing Darlings. So here is all your blushes swatched. These feel really nice, and I like that they have some more pigmented shades in this collection that I feel like all skin tones can wear. The blushes are going to be $14 each. We also have two fun Super Shock highlighters in the collection, and they're the marbled ones, which are so gorgeous to look at. These all have the little clock on them. And they, this one is Jubilant Chorus, and it is kind of a pearl gold shift. And here is a swatch. These are more of a creamy, cream to powder almost formula. They're one of my favorites from ColourPop. 
And then we do have a deeper tone here. This one has some like bronze in there, some pearl, and almost like a purple shift. This is Whimsical Ride. So here they are swatched. You could totally use these also as like Super Shock eyeshadows if you want. Those are gonna be $11 each. And then the last thing in the collection, we have a fun lip set. So this is really cool. I feel like I never get actual lip sets. It's always individual. So how fun, you get the adorable packaging here. It's called Smooth Sailing. And this is the glossy lip stains. So you're gonna get four in here. And this is retailing for $28. Now the glossy stains, I actually really like this formula. It's really lightweight on the lips and they're a little more sheer going on on super liquidy and then they're gonna dry down to a stain but they're still like transferable but not like a lot they will stay and hold for quite a bit so the first shade is called seven seaways which is kind of more of a peachy pink nude next up we have smiling faces which is a little more pink Next we have this like brighter berry pink called Sing Along. And lastly we have a darker kind of burgundy. This is Clock Tower. So here is your four lip colors, a really nice variety in here. And that is actually the entire collection. So I did do this look with the collection today. We tried out one of each of the products in the palette. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so going into the palette here, I'm going to go ahead and use this fun minty shade called Love and Hope, and we'll place this in the crease. And I'm just using the BKA502 for this one. So this one does come off more as almost a pastel, but I would say the pigment is pretty good on this one. I am building it up just a couple times to make sure that the color is going to really pop. Next we're going to go ahead and place a piece in the outer corner. I've been trying to flare my eyeshadow out just a bit more on the edges lately so it's not like super rounded and I'm gonna bring this kind of in the center a little bit as well I'm pretty impressed with the colors so far I think these are really fun shades and they're showing up pretty well for me next we'll dive into this more shimmery turquoise this one is world traveler and I'm just gonna put it on this kind of pointed brush and I'm gonna wet it with some spray and then we'll put it along the lower lash line so next I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade this is one of the like super shock formulas this is dream it's so cushiony and it's soft and we're gonna place this right here in the inner corner in the center of the eye this is seriously such a beautiful shade and I feel like this look has come together pretty easily I will say this shimmer though while it is beautiful it's just a tiny bit like see-through in some places so you may want to lay maybe a base down like if I laid down maybe this cream maybe it would have came out just a bit better so I'm just kind of building that so that we're not seeing like our skin through too much so I think that's what I'm gonna do for the eyes I might just add a little white liner let me put some more of the rest of my makeup on and then we're gonna try out the blushes the highlight and the lip products as well so now we're gonna move on to the blush by the way I know my foundation is too light but we're just gonna make it work anyways I decided to try out the shade dancing darlings it's one of those kind of more red tones which is really trendy right now so I'm gonna try and use this with the light hand and see what we could do with it because I don't want it to be too much since we do have a lot going on with the eyes so I'm gonna dip in and then we'll tap the excess off and just use a little bit of product so yeah just using a very tiny bit gives a really nice natural I'm cold blush look I don't know if you guys have seen those lately going around like especially on TikTok. that's like the trend but this is a nice I'm cold blush if you're looking for one super light pink if you're using a very light hand but it's definitely gonna be buildable as well next we're going to add on the highlight and i am going to use the lighter of the highlighters these are so pretty this is jubilant chorus 
and with these more super shock ones you can kind of dab it on with your finger I'm just mixing both marbled shades together and then pressing into the skin And then lastly, we can dive into the lip kit here. And we have the glossy lip stains. And hmm, I'm thinking I might go with this like pinkish one. We'll see how this will look. This one is in Smiling Faces. And these are just gonna give you a little bit of stain. So they're not overly pigmented, but they still give you some color and they're super wet feeling on the lips. And they do take a bit to dry down. Alright, so I think that is our finished makeup. I'm going to put my hair down and we're going to go ahead and get into my final thoughts here, testing everything out. Okay guys, so I have to say I am really liking this collection. I was really impressed with the palette, gorgeous blush tones, and the lips are pretty. I honestly like everything in here. I love the packaging, the theming, the design. It's all A++ for me. I just wanted to go ahead and talk about the palette real quick. So I love the look that we did today. I didn't have too many issues again I will mention the only thing is that super shock color in dream is just a little bit see-through but I did mention some ways that you can kind of counteract that but otherwise I really didn't have hardly any issues with the colors in here it performed really well you guys know I always love to do a couple comparisons so I pulled a few palettes in my personal ColourPop collection to share side by side that you may already have that have similar colors so the first one that I grabbed that kind of looked like it it's not like fully because this is a little bit more cool toned this is shell shocked and I wanted to compare it to the small world but it's just missing like the warmer reds but it kind of reminded me of like the blues in there the purples and the mint I also grabbed my witching hour hocus pocus palette because this one's a bit deeper in tone but I feel like you kind of get Similar tones going on, not exact dupes. This is a little bit lighter, but I definitely see some similarities. Same with this palette called On The List. This was an Ulta exclusive, and I see a lot of similarities here. I feel like it just doesn't have like the mint green that this one has, or the darker matte like blue. Also, this is a fairly recent palette, but I saw some similar colors. This is just kind of more vibrant, I think. This one's a little bit more muted, but the Muppets Holiday Collection compared to It's a Small World. And then lastly, this palette dupes so much stuff. I feel like, like if you have this, you have pretty much every colorful palette almost. This is the big It's a Mood palette. Again, it doesn't really have the mint green going on, but look at these. I feel like you can definitely do some duplicates. It just doesn't have those brighter teal colors in there, but lots of similarities I see. So if you have any of those palettes, you may want to think twice before getting this one. I know a lot of you guys probably just collect the Disney stuff anyway, cause it's super fun, very collectible, and super gorgeous. And I really love the quality in this one. I think it's really good. So the palette is a win for me. I also feel like you can't go wrong with the blushes. I love the red one that we used today on the cheeks if you want to do that trending look. And then of course the highlights are also beautiful. I love the marbled ones. They just look so unique and so shifty. I hate that when you swirl it around it kind of gets ruined but it's still so beautiful. And the lips as well. I love these lip stains. I think they're really nice. So I would recommend these too. So the collection overall is a pretty big hit for me. Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Again, it should be launching today as I am posting. You can use my code 5 Leah to save $5 off. I think it's over $20 or $25. I can't quite remember. I'll have that link down below. And also let me know if you guys have been on It's a Small World, do you love it or do you hate it? Because I feel like it's either one or the other. I feel like I love it when I visit, but if I was stuck on it, that would get annoying real quick. Because I've seen, I think it was, if you guys watch Molly, she's a Disney vlogger. I think she was stuck on it for like 90 minutes or so one time or like an hour. It was nuts. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.